to Computational Physics Fun with Tom and Danielle. Today we are going to talk about how to solve a computational physics problem dealing with heat transfer using Python. The way to imagine the problem that we are looking at is that we have water flowing through a tube through the left side and then flowing out the right. As the water passes through the tube, it gets heated by a heat source. The way we represent this problem on the computer is by setting different boundary conditions for each side of our system. The left and right side will represent a free flowing fluid moving through a tube. The bottom will represent our heating source and the top will be an insulated wall that doesn't allow heat to escape. The following few slides show how we use Python to solve this heat transfer problem. Here we have our system being a square two-dimensional box. We have also set our diffusion coefficient constant and the fluid velocity in the x direction with a time space of 100 seconds. From the function shown, you can see how the drift diffusion equation is used. The function will take an initial state and form a square matrix with two extra rows and columns, then set the initial condition to the inside matrix. The extra two rows and columns are for boundary conditions, which can be set to however you want your system to behave. For our example, we have the left and right sides of our matrix t equal the closest row, simulating a free-flowing fluid. The bottom is set to 10, which is our source of heat, and our top is set to 0, showing an insulated boundary. From this matrix, the Laplacian can be calculated, as well as the first partial derivative in the x direction. Using these two matrices from a function above and a diffusion coefficient, we can evaluate the drift diffusion equation many times using Python's ODE int function. The results we obtain from the Python code can be altered to show different scenarios. In the first column, we see a scenario with a slow fluid flow. When the heat source is turned on, we see the heat diffusing through most of the fluid. In the second column, we see a scenario with moderate fluid flow where the heat diffuses through a decent amount of fluid as it passes by. In the last column, we see a scenario with fast fluid flow in which the heat doesn't transfer through much of the fluid at all. There are still some improvements that could be done to make the solution to this problem more realistic. One improvement that can be made is to add in laminar flow and show the fluid traveling at different velocities inside the tubing. Another improvement that can be made is to animate the process of flow boiling using vPython so we can compare it to the graphs made in Python. This would also help us see the heat transfer occur in real time. A final improvement would be to use the correct diffusion value to represent realistic fluids like water or FC72. Hopefully this tutorial on computational physics dealing with heat transfer and convective diffusion helps you get through your Python problem. Thank you for watching.